Thank you. Bastards. Damn it, fuck you. These guys don't know when to quit, do they? I need to lose them. Seriously, they're annoying the fuck out of me. You know I'm gonna do 90. You know it. Okay, let's find an alleyway. Damn it. Damn it! He saw me! Fuck! Ah, damn it. Well, that was close. I just gotta wait for them to go away. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking helicopters, leave me alone. <sighs> Just gotta chill for a sec. Damn it. Yeah, this is gonna take me a while. Fuck all you fucking fucks. That's nice vocabulary. <laughs> Can't believe they followed me up here. Like, seriously? How would they even know that? Okay, here we go. All right, keep on waiting. Keep on waiting. Here we go. Night sticks are available now. Kill. Well, I ain't getting out that way. Fuck it. About damn time those cops pissed off. <laughs> Guess we're not getting out. Son of a bitch. They're driving away. Alright, then you're next. Usually when you point a gun at something, or point a gun at someone when hijacking them, they probably won't try to fight you back. They'd be like, well, fuck, they have a gun, I'm screwed. So, they won't try to fight you or anything, or try to punch you. Because they realize you are a big-ass threat. So, something to keep in mind. Now, how the hell do I get over there? What to be in here? Movie sets, I see. Crash right in the entrance, why not? Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. 
Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. Lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. I love you already. <laughs> okay. Well, that was kind of weird. I don't know why. Kind of weird. But, uh, Solomon. Oh, Popular director. Never heard of him, but, uh, <laughs> obviously. I think they'll get along just fine. Are they really playing this song right now? <laughs> really, this song? Give it to me, give it to me. Yep, one of the other really awesome inappropriate songs that schools do not like hearing about. Or parents, for that matter, or anyone that's young. Anything. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Yeah, man, we gonna make a movie. Nice. I want to be the main star. Or actually, not the main star. I want to be the villain. And six explosions on everything. That's how I roll. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Gianni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? So let's go. Okay, so what exactly? Ah, a stealth mission. Oh, super.
Just gotta find a way inside. Here we go. Get up top. Can't see me, can't see me. Stealth kill. Nice work. Now I just gotta find a way up there. Ah. Actually, there's a ladder right there. Excuse me. You can't be here. Hold on, asshole. This is a close sight. I gotta call my damage. No, fuck. You are calling no one. So, uh, yeah, let me go up here. This will work. Sneak past him. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, this guy's all mine. <laughs> Bring a bitch. I can take quite a beating, huh? Nope, not really. He's dead, never mind. Soak too soon. <laughs> We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh uh, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. Alright. Let's get back to the lot. Let's do it. We're not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him. Flying erratically. Gotcha. <laughs> Please don't do that last thing. Let's be off. See, it wasn't that hard, guys. Oh crap, don't, don't, don't. Oof, close. Let's -a go. Solomon's office. Come on. Let's make a crappy movie. What a wonderful surprise. 
Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. So he's finally happy. That took a while. <laughs> he's finally happy, even though his family left him and lost a lot of his money and a lot of the stuff, but he's alright. So, we are going to be Franklin. And do his missions, because he's got a few. He's got a few to do. Let's see what he's up to. As usual. Gotta smoke. Oh, thank you for bringing this to me. Really appreciate it. Keeping it real and keeping it very old school here on the low down. Music from when music was mu Let's see, which ones are closer? What's weed stash? Oh. Interesting. Let's turn over to L. Assassination. Time to go kill someone else. Before music became fake and real became reality TV. Strange times a long time ago. Long before the eyes. Sounds like a lot of Franklin's messengers just Hey, go here and kill people. And Trevor is uh cause a lot of mayhem, however possible. And Michael's is gonna be more of the uh Sophisticated type missions like threatening people and stealing things, stuff like that. But that's okay, because all together we are in one happy world. <laughs> More or less. I barely missed that guy. That was an epic dodge. Barely. Let's see what our buddy's been up to. Oh, it's another telephone ring. I gotcha, because it's the assassination. Da da da. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Alright, let's go watch a prostitute. <laughs> For no apparent reason. There's my awesome car. No wonder I couldn't see it. It's so dark. So let's watch a prostitute, fuck her, and kill her. <laughs> One of the most funnest things to do in a GTA game, period. Or kill them with a the baseball bat or a night stick. Whatever makes you happy. Or just throw a dildo at their face. Kill them that way. Whatever most pleases you. Mine is the last option, of course. Because it's the most ironic.
But I'm surprised, prostitutes actually take a little bit more of a role in this game. They're actually going to be part of a mission this time around. Instead of just being in the game for the hell of it. Damn, that must be my girl.